episodic and uh, continuous tasks and what is this counting? Episodic tasks have initial and terminal states and all the interaction of agent and the environment is split into episodes. The reward in the terminal state is zero. We can compute total reward only at the end of an episode, only at terminal state. We can compute total reward episode has ended. So we can take all the rewards that we collected during this episode and just sum up to get GT total reward. It reminds thematic optimization methods. What do you need for optimization methods? You need a function to minimize or maximize, right? We will continue the lecture and you will see what is the function. Episodic tasks are simple and very clear. How to compute reward, we know. How episode starts and ends, we know. The problem begins when the episode doesn't have end. How can we express a total sum for a continuous task if the terminal state is non-reachable or too distant? If you're familiar with the Monte Carlo method, we can do some optimization only by reaching the end of the space. So if you want to maximize some of rewards, we have to express sum of the reward of very long or continuous tasks as a finite sum. Here, we introduce new term, decay rate or gamma coefficient. It has power. Power is zero at the first reward term First reward term is also called immediate reward. Immediate reward received when the agent moves from the S0 to S1 here. Next term has gamma with power of one. The third term has a gamma multiplier in power of two. We can express this series as a sum of infinite members with a gamma power K multiplied per reward at uh, step t plus k plus one. Does it look simpler? Well, actually, no. We still have three dots here. The gamma values are constrained to the range from zero inclusively to one inclusively. So this thing is most often is less than one. Let's imagine gamma to be 0.1. If all our rewards will be 10, 10, 10, here you will have 10, here you will have one, here you will have 0.1. At some horizon, future expected rewards become so small that I can neglect them. This trick allows us to represent continuous task as episodic. We make the reward more or less short-sighted. The closer the gamma to one, the more long-sighted attention of our agent, the more future states and future expected rewards it evaluates to make the decision. The smaller the gamma, the more short-sighted the agent becomes, and it considers only immediate consequences and reward of his actions. Here are the example of episodic and continuous tasks. Episodic is chess, we already discussed it. Continuous could be automatic temperature control with uh, air conditioner. Air conditioner is an AI agent which is penalized by minus one every time a human touches a control. Doesn't matter wh which control. The idea is that with some time, the temperature controller should learn the behavior of people and temperature of the room. For example, the AC is not penalized when it keeps temperature always 23 degrees. So people don't click it at all. In this way, a sum of penalty because minimal, the best value could be zero. AC works uh, without a break. So this task is continuous. Here is an example how discounting looks like. Here you have immediate reward at the current state. The gamma in power zero becomes one and it is multiplied per immediate reward. For future state, and if you ask me which future states, and I will tell you all possible future states with their appropriate rewards, multiplied gamma. And I took the example where gamma is 0 0.9. In two states, it will be a square of gamma multiplied per all the rewards in two steps. If the next state will be terminal state, I will be able to compute total reward. Let's do it. I will multiply one by immediate reward gamma 0 0.9. I took it, for example, multiply it by next state reward 
and uh, in two states gamma square is 0 0.81 in this way in some horizon this multiplier becomes very close to zero and uh, we can skip those terms without losing much of the accuracy again the idea of this counting is limiting reward values through exponential decay and gamma is exactly that tool for exponential decay now let's get back to continuous reward it was the formula for continuous reward I just depicted for clarity, where is the reward for current state? Here is the reward for future state. Here is the reward in two states, the discount rate, value between zero and one. We can rewrite this formula using a recursion. Instead of iterative evaluation of all the states and all the rewards, we can express future reward. So we are at the time step T. We want to compute GT. We express it as a sum of possible immediate reward plus decay multiplied by sum of all future rewards starting from the next state. In this way, we eliminate the uncertainty regarding to decay and we will work further with this formula. You will see it again soon. This concept is hard to digest. Expected sum of future rewards. Yeah, what is it? Another analogy could be, imagine I play chess and I move a horse. By moving a horse, I will get my first reward, this one. If I will continue to move only horse and performing the same action I did, I will get this reward and this reward and that reward, and I will be at the appropriate states. It concludes the sum of future rewards by assuming that, uh, that I will follow the same policy for future, which helped me to achieve this state, I will be able to compute those things. So these are imaginary part, but I'm, I'm here and I'm thinking to go here. 